Hi traders, a short recap of my trading session today and we're going to learn a little bit more about uh, gap trading today, especially gap and goes based on two great trades I had in Tesla and two unpleasant losers that I had in mRNA. So here's my results for today as you can see here I had a green day and a big loser in fact two losing trades in mRNA and two winners in Tesla so let's take a good look at what happened today. First I'll start with Tesla. Tesla was a gap and go. We started with a big gap up as you can see here and then the first one minute candle was down and then it moved higher. Now the first way of first way of trading a gap and go is going long during the first few minutes after it moved lower. There's only way you can there's just one way you can get a nice technical formation is if the stock is first coming down and then reversing and going higher. So trust the first reversal I posted this trade in the trading room today over 795 which is right over here and then it moved up like eight points and that was a great trade so that was my first trade in Tesla and remember the first move up after it comes down you're supposed to be in there look for a technical reversal go long that should be a very high percentage successful trade uh, with a gap and go expected gap and go now of course Tesla had some great news today they announced the produced more cars than, than they expected than the market expected and that's why Tesla started with a big gap up and of course you will find a lot of buyers to Tesla. Now the second way in trading a gap and go is to wait until the stock fails. It doesn't always fail but when it does and Tesla moved under the lows really so that was a big downside move and then wait for some kind of a consolidation go long. So Tesla was posted again in our trading room today but by my buddy at the trading room Scott Malatesta who's my trading buddy in the trading room and I followed him and uh, you know Scott is expertise in trading gap and goes normally is based on the second move. So you know every trader has different ways of trading gap and goes and it's the right thing to do. You should develop your own trading systems based on your own ideas and there's plenty of ways trading, plenty of ways trading gap and goes. The first one as I explained here during the first few minutes which is of course very dangerous, very volatile and you know it, it's definitely not recommended to starting traders. Second one it's, it's normally an easier way to get into a trade a gap and go trade is to wait for the big failure sometimes it takes a stock all the way down under the lows not always and then find the pace where you want to go long and Scott posted it over 795 which is exactly the same number as I did but on the second time it came up and look at the way it came up so we had a great second trade in Tesla today. Now again you need to remember there's plenty of ways to trade gaps or specifically gap and goes. I just showed you two ways to do that and these two ways uh, are, are you know not very complicated but as everything is in trading they are, you need to be very you need to know them very well you need to, to learn how to use them very well and you need a lot of experience to know exactly when to move in and to move out. So it's not just what I told you about okay look for the first reversal you need to know when to move in and where's your stop and what is your uh, uh, risk and reward and so on. There's plenty of other things that you need to know. Now let's uh, move to my mRNA losing trade and before that if you like this video so far please give us a thumb up, helps our channel and helps more people like you learn more about day trading. Now let's take a look at mRNA. mRNA, I had two losing trades in mRNA and you know first you need to remember that gap and goes don't always succeed. My average is 68% success rate and that means I'm losing 32% of my trades and mRNA I had two losing trades I have a good excuse for the first one but not a very excuse not a very good excuse for my second trade in mRNA let me show you why. So again mRNA started with a big gap down when you have that and you expect a stock that has a big gap down mRNA started down 7% you expect it to continue down so you look for the first reversal after it moved up definitely had my technical reversal here shorted it it did not last for long as you can see and then it moved higher and I had to move out of this trade I had a losing trade and then I decided well mRNA should come down again I took the second one and that failed too and it came over the highs and then I had a second losing trade in mRNA so you know the idea is 
mainly correct. You look for a stock that is starting with a big gap down and you expect a continuation. But there's one more thing you need to look, take a look at and there's one more thing that you need to be worried from. The thing you need to be worried from is whether your second trade is a revenge trade or a real trade. I think my second trade was more like a revenge trade. And actually, I felt very good at the time because I already had uh, two winners in Tesla and several more green trades. And so I was really up at that point. And I felt like I need to compensate for my first mRNA trade, which is a mental thing. Another reason why uh, traders lose a lot of money is, uh, you know, what goes on in your mind. Now, here's the reason. Take a look at the daily of mRNA. You can see that it already crashed down on Friday. We had a great short trade on Friday in mRNA. It worked out fantastically well because it was the first big gap and go it had for a while. And then came another gap and go, or expected gap and go today, which is a second red candle. And that one I failed today twice. Now, when you have a big gap and go, surprise gap and go, like happened on Friday, you can make money. Normally you would. It came down, I, I can't remember how many points. I had a fantastic trade on Friday with mRNA short. You can see my videos here on this channel if you want to see um, this mRNA trade. And then I had a losing trade, or actually two losing trades today. You know, the second gap and go after the first one, the stock is already quite extended to the downside. Yes, it, you, you would probably have more than 60% chance to succeed. But now your chance of losing grows significantly higher and there was really no excuse for my second trade in mRNA. So stock is already too extended to the downside after Friday. A lot of people are looking to go long mRNA. Well, more people than on Friday. You know, Friday is a surprise day. Today is like, okay, so mRNA is down another 7%. It's a great company. We think it's going to continue higher. How about bottom fishing? How about catching falling knives? Big mistake. Don't do that. Normally you shouldn't. But, you know, uh, there's, there still is a chance for a successful gap and go trade. But, you know, I failed the first one. And then I failed the second one. And I should have learned because if you take a look at mRNA, it was really just trending higher. And, you know, that's it. Um, uh, reasons for successful traders, uh, trades and reasons for failing trades. And hope you learned. And if you did, please give us a thumb up. It really helps our channel. And the more people who will join, uh, the bigger we will be. And it helps us all learn a little bit more about day trading. And you can subscribe by hitting the subscribe button right here and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And one last thing, don't forget, a World Series of Day Trading is coming up and uh, it's the world's biggest ever trading competition. And the first 40 places are getting fantastic prizes. And uh, yeah, well, you know, maybe you are the world's best trader and you will be crowned as such. So you can join. There's plenty of links right here below to join the World Series of Trading and it doesn't cost anything. Um, you can also join our trading room. I mean, these calls, these trades were posted live in our trading room today. There's a free 14 day trial there. So plenty of links here below. And here's a short video about the World Series of Day Trading uh, and hoping to see you in the competition. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. The World Series of Day Trading returns for the sixth time, and this time the biggest prizes in history. Starting the 20th of October and lasting for six trading days. To take part in WSDT, you have to register and pass the verification process. It's your time to prove you deserve the most prestigious title in day trading. The best day traders on the planet gather to discover the new champion of the world. Trade a demo account for six days and prove you are the world's best trader. New to day trading? Don't worry about it. Whatever your level of experience, you're welcome to join. Win access to the biggest prize of all. It's time to prove that you are the next champion of the world. Register now to guarantee your seat.